Now that the election is over, all the talk has turned to the fiscal cliff, and people really want the Congress to get busy. We're hearing that maybe they're willing to talk and compromise. Mike Norman, you've done a lot of work on this, so you feel like yeah. it's already priced into the market. I think to a large extent it's priced in. I'm a big believer that once an idea gets out there, once people start talking about something, then the markets and the economy already begin to react to it. I mean, we even saw last month how companies were announcing uh, cancellations of contracts, uh, issuance of pink slips, so, and they were talking about you know, how their businesses were going to be impacted. So, and, and then we see this sell-off now in the stock market. So it, it's in the process of being discounted. Uh, on, and also, it seems like post-election that uh, compromise is in the air. I mean, we could get a deal on this, which could you know, keep us from going over the cliff. On the positive side, we see things like housing recovery, which is a, a very good uh, thing in the economy. We also see improvement in the job market with uh, the last uh, jobs uh, payroll number. And the housing recovery alone, I mean, if it continues, you could get this dynamic of households you know, borrowing to spend as home values start to go back up again, which would be a positive. Obviously, the, the biggest component of GDP is what? Personal consumption, right? So if you get that kicking in. Um, we're going to, look, we're going to have slow growth, whether there's a deal or no deal. Um, but I think, you know, the market is okay with that slow growth scenario. We've been in that sort of mode for a while now. Uh, labor costs are low. Inflation is low. The Fed is not going to move to raise interest rates. If, so If Congress does come to a deal, is that going to boost the stock market? Are, are, are we going to see a rally on yeah, the deal? I absolutely think so. I think this is a sell-off that you want to buy into. This is, you know, uh, buy the rumor, sell the news. Or sell the rumor, <laughs> buy the news, right? It's a sell-off that you want to buy into because once we get the deal, I think it's going to lift a lot of uncertainty and we'll get back to what the basic conditions are of the economy, which is you know, sort of a slow growth situation with some sectors improving.